Awesome, thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is April, uh, April Clyburn Sharon, and I'm here representing a really exciting group of amazing scientists and researchers uh, called Reproducibility for Everyone. Uh, so what we are is a community-led education initiative. And our goal is to introduce researchers and scientists who are totally naive to, you know, open research, open science, uh, reproducibility, um, open source, to introduce those uh, uh, researchers to all these amazing projects that are out there and to try and do it at scale. So that's, that's our aim is to reach like a lot of people at once and to sort of just get them onto a path to learning. So it's, it's the first touch, it's the first meeting, um, and it feeds into hopefully a lot of the amazing projects that you guys are all involved in and a lot of the amazing projects out there that are being started every day. So what I hope to talk about in the next eight minutes is a little bit about what we do and how we do it. Um, but my main sort of like takeaway from this considering the audience is uh, an invitation to add your project to a database of slides that we're creating for our instructors. Um, so these, these folks, they, they run these workshops um, mostly at conferences, but also at institutions. And um, if you fill out this little form I have or uh, use a slide template to make your own slide about your tool, then I can bring that information to our um, volunteers and they can learn a little bit about what you're doing and if it is a good fit for their audience and if they think it's a, a useful thing for their audience, they might add it to a future uh, workshop. Um, and so there's a link there to my slides if you want to follow along uh, there as well. And there's also another form here that says like, this is the join the Reproducibility for Everyone community, and that is a link where if you're interested in actually running a workshop, helping to organize a workshop or contribute in another way, um, then fill out that form and we'll be in touch. So what do we do? So we run a reproducibility training. We run short reproducibility training. And their aim is to funnel people into uh, open projects. So to meet large groups of researchers and let them know about all these great projects so that they can find the one that is most relevant to them really easily. Um, so we're working to focus on those gaps in core researcher training that currently exist. Um, so a lot of the basic data skills and that sort of thing, um, and a lot of the tools that can really you know, help to get a researcher practicing reproducibility uh, more easily. Um, so one of the common questions we get is, how is this different than the carpentries? Um, and there's a lot of different um, differences, um, but what we think of ourselves is uh, a, an education initiative that, is, um, that helps people discover projects like the carpentries. Um, and the way we can do that is by having very short introductions that are only 60 or 90 minutes long. So that way, uh, more people can attend, and we find a broader group of researchers will attend. And since we target conferences mainly, um, we're oftentimes meeting researchers who are completely naive to the idea of reproducibility or open research or open source. Um, and so the, the content is designed for complete newbies, so absolute naive audiences. Um, and we uh, create sort of an overview presentation. Um, so we're uh, onboarding hundreds of researchers per workshop often um, from all career stages. Uh, and so we also keep the curriculum updated and we can adapt it really easily to the audiences because the instructors themselves are updating the, um, the workshop uh, for every event. Uh, to suit their needs and to suit the needs of uh, the audience. So this is a way of funneling people into these amazing projects like yours. Uh, so all of the content is community-led um, and it's uh, curated by the community. It um, includes information and um, recommendations that come from researchers, so it comes from their experiences, the tools and the methods that they found themselves most beneficial. 
um, and they're broken down into reusable modules with instructor guides and instructor notes so that anyone can pick up the curriculum really easily and run it without any specialized training at all. Um, and so we're trying to track different versions uh, for different disciplines, different audience, different regions. And um, one of the things we plan to do in the next couple of years is to produce a few more translated versions. Um, but the most uh, important thing I think in our community is uh, that there's this group of volunteers that are really excited about the project and are really excited to help um, support new presenters and new contributors and new organizers for events. So uh, we're an amazing group of people and I invite you to join us if you're interested in um, training researchers on reproducibility. Uh, for uh, this particular conference, I wanted to focus on a new project we're working on, which is to make it easier for um, uh, instructors at Reproducibility for Everyone to sort of keep up to date with what all the new tools are that they might want to add to a few future workshop. Um, so the way we're doing this right now is just a really short form um, for anybody that is involved in a project related to reproducibility. And so for many of you, that might be a tool that researchers could use to improve reproducibility, um, or if you know about a new method or any type of project. Uh, so we've created a form here, and I would invite you guys to all fill it out. Um, it shouldn't take very long to fill out, and I'm, I'm happy to help you sort of like uh, navigate it if you have any questions. But the idea is to create a database of slides um, where people can, you know, bring these new projects to our instructors. The instructors can, you know, try out these tools and they can easily slot them in um, to a future uh, uh, workshop without having to do too much work. So uh, this form allows me to create these slides. You see this picture of the slide in the um, bottom corner here. It's just an example of what um, the template of the slide will look like. There's, um, it's for people who are completely new to these ideas, so it has to be very short and introductory and focus on the primary aims of the tool um, so people can have a sense of whether this is a good fit for them and they know, you know where to go to learn more um, and they know who to contact if they have questions. So uh, that's, that's the aim is to create a, uh, a database of these slides um, that can introduce not only our instructors, but eventually anybody who's interested in, in learning more about reproducibility to all these great tools. Uh, so my email is there, april at reproforeveryone.org. So if you have questions or you want to just email me with the details of your project, feel, please feel free. Um, and uh, if you yourself are interested in maybe organizing a reproducibility for everyone event, either at a conference that you're planning on attending or at your institution. Right now, they're all virtual um, and they work really well virtually. So uh, I welcome you to uh, fill out that join us form there at the bottom and um, let us know that you're interested in getting involved. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for uh, taking the time and please reach out. We're uh, really happy to be here.